Hey, what's up everybody, Danny here, and I wanna show you today how to set up a form using the Rainmaker platform. And uh, in particularly, we're gonna use this form as a pop-up modal, which is, all that essentially is is a link that will pop up your email opt-in form so that uh, any subscribe, potential subscribers reading your content, clicking on the link, uh, can go ahead and, and upgrade to get a free download. So if you're looking at my screen, you can see I have sort of a content upgrade link here. It, it's in the middle of a blog post that says, click here to get your free content mastery toolkit. So as soon as someone clicks on that, you see the pop-up sort of box with their first name and email and then you know submission button here. Um, just displayed nicely on the screen. Now this is a similar functionality to if you're using lead pages, lead do, using sort of like a, a content upgrade or lead, lead box um, pop-up form that will would show up when someone clicks on it. Um, there's, it's different how you would set it up in Rainmaker and so I'm gonna walk you through how I do that to get this exact look here that you see on the screen. So really what we're doing is we're going into the forms uh, Rainmaker uses Ninja Forms, and so we're just going to go into the uh, content, and then we're going to click on uh, Forms. So you're going to go to the Tools and Forms. I uh, have it already opened up in another window. So this is where it's going to take you <clears throat> to. So if you don't have a form created, you're going to create a new form, um, but uh, or you're going to edit an existing one. Either way, it's going to bring you to this sort of screen where you have the settings, the field settings, uh, email marketing, notifications, and we're going to be focusing on the field settings. Okay, these are all the fields that are going to be in our form when someone clicks on it and it pops up. So I have my email, my first name, my email, and submission at the bottom of the form. Uh, and then I have a little hard rule that just puts a line in between the, the top part of the form and all of the, uh, the user entry fields. And so what all I'm going to do is put a text box at the top. Okay, so you're going to go to layout elements here in the in the left hand column. You can just take text and add that to the top. And I'm going to show you already have the, the stuff inside of it already, all the content. Um, <clears throat> whatever you want to put in here, you can. You can put an image, you can put a you know GIF. I have a, a progress bar GIF here. Um, and then any text that you'd like to display uh, above your email opt-in form elements. Okay, so that's really as easy as it gets. Uh, you can use the visual. I like to use the visual uh, little builder here for the text uh, field. And uh, you can add media. So if you have photos or anything like that, you can just add that into the text bo element box. Okay, so now you do that, you're gonna save the settings. And uh, once you're done saving the settings and you have your modal pop-up, uh, configured, you're going to go to view it when you click on the link. You're going to see it's, there we go. We got my content here, laid out here, it's all good. Now, well, we're going to take it a step further because some of you may not know how to actually get the pop-up to fire. And so really what it, you're going to need to do is you're going to need to identify the, uh, the ID of the form and there's going to be a little bit of a short code that you're going to have to put in in your page and so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit this post and go back into the uh, edit edit admin area for this particular post and <clears throat> we're going to I'm going to scroll down to where let's see here okay There we go. All right, so uh, I've got here pop-up type equals, and you know you can just um, you can just go ahead and uh, you know type it out. Uh, but essentially, what this is pop-up type equals, and then this is the code that you're going to need for uh, for putting the same sort of link on your page. Now you put the link text equals put whatever text that you want um, people to click on. Uh, on your website that uh, will trigger the pop-up on your page. And then this is the key here, display form ID. You're gonna to wanna to take, find the ID for your particular form 
and put that number in there. So mine happens to be three here. So what you're going to do is you're gonna go in your form settings. Okay, and we're gonna to try to, we're gonna to need to get the ID. Okay, so we're gonna go form settings. And if I got this right, let's do form preview. Okay, form preview. So you click form preview and you can see the ID is at the end here. So all you're gonna do is replace that ID with the number three, uh, well, for my case, it's three, but make sure you check yours, do the preview, and you're gonna put that number in there and you're going to save it and your pop-up should work as expected. So then you're gonna save it and you're gonna go back and I'm going to view this post again. And as soon as you do that, you go back to your button or your link, whichever, however you're styling it, you click on it, and there you go. You're all set. One great thing I like about Rainmaker Forms is the notifications. So if someone signs up to your offer, you can configure the notifications back in the uh, email marketing tab for your form as well. So if you click on that, uh, there's, there's really a lot of things you can do here. And one of the things I like to do is you know, I like to, since I'm using Raymail, it doesn't really matter what um, email marketing provider you use. Um, if you're using a supported third-party uh, email marketing provider, uh, you can do that. Uh, I was using ConvertKit. Now I'm using Rainmail. Um, but you can go ahead and select your, uh, your list or your forms to have those emails uh, subscribers added to. And you can set up notifications. So if you're if you're looking to get a notification when someone signs up, um, you can set up these sort of notification uh, alerts here. Email confirmation reminder page. Um, that gets that gets uh, sent to the the subscriber. But here is the the one I really like is the admin notification to new subscribers uh, to the content mastery toolkit. So I get an email every time someone does successfully sign up. So it's a great, great um, uh, option. Not every email service provider has that. And so um, this is a great thing that the Rainmaker platform does pretty well, I think. So anyway, that's a video on how to set up your forms uh, correctly. Um, and if there's any questions you have, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, love to hear what you guys are doing with your own forms on WordPress or Rainmaker, uh, whatever sort of platform you're using. Um, I'd love to hear about it. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button below so that you can get notified whenever Rainmaker tips, tools, or strategies come to this channel. All right, hope to see you in the next video and I'll talk to you soon.